It's Beginner's Guide time, and we're going to be picking out the best five songs to introduce you to Canadian punk icons, Sum 41. A band that have been around since 1996, they have seven albums already released, and with both an eighth double album set for release in 2022, and a headline set at Slam Dunk Festival, it's time to turn you into a scumfuck, and together, let's take a closer look at some of the best tunes from Sum 41. Track 1, Fat Lip. The fourth track from the 2001 debut album All Killer No Filler, Fat Lip was the lead single from this album and along with so many other Sum 41 songs, became a pop punk anthem. Opening with a simple yet instantly recognisable riff, Fat Lip is full of energy from the start with its fast paced vocals during the verses, with instrumentals going into double time during the chorus. The only time this has any let up is during the bridge, where the song drops down in a calmer tone before bursting straight back into the higher pace in the lead up to the big final chorus. Vocally, there are elements of rap being introduced into their distinct pop punk sound, with the fast flowing verses and switch ups and vocal duties between Derek, Dave and Steve, all having lines intersecting with each other. Derek wrote the song after his parents wanted him to be a normal person and he didn't want to conform to that, so it became about partying, enjoying life and doing what you want, with these themes helping the youth of when it was released and even the youth now being able to relate to it so well. The entire chorus shows us with the lines, I don't want to waste my time, become another casualty of society, I'll never fall in line, become another victim of your conformity and back down. A song that is likely to never be left out of a Sum 41 setlist, Fat Lip is a song that defines a generation in pop-punk music in the early 2000s, and over 20 years later, still holds relevance and relatability to people who are only just discovering it. Track 2, In Too Deep. The second single release from All Killer No Filler, In Too Deep is another one of those pop punk iconic tunes that helped thrust Sum 41 into the limelight early in their career. Another simple guitar riff that is instantly recognisable, the song structure flows seamlessly with the verses really helping build to the big chorus. Guitarist Dave Baksh has a lovely solo midway through the song and it feels like it hits every mark it needs to in order for it to jam perfectly. Singer Derek Gwibley said that one night when he was 18, he started playing around with his guitar while sitting at home. The riff came first and he started improvising verses in the chorus and within three or four minutes, had come up with everything but the guitar solo and bridge, finally getting around to finishing this whole song a few months later. He said of the lyrics that they were based on a very basic level relationship stuff that he'd gone through in high school, with that being his reference point. The music video is a parody of the film Back to School, with a band facing off in a diving competition against a proper diving team, with each of the band members having a more comedic dive compared to the more perfected dive of the opposition. A fun video that is bound to have viewers laughing, you've got to check it out. In Too Deep is another anthem of pop punk and a staple of the live set list during a Sum 41 show, sometimes even being the closer to end the evening in a big fashion. Track number three, The Hell Song. Everybody's got their problems. Everybody says the same thing to you. It's just a matter of your solve them. They know you gotta change the things you've been through. Well, life feel life comes to real. Some 41 released their second album, Does This Look Infected, in 2002, and The Hell Song was the second single from this record. Full disclosure, 
There was also some debate on which song to pick from this album, so I did have some help from fellow Ragamuffin member Ruben to pick between this song and Still Waiting. So I just want to give some recognition to Still Waiting being my honourable mention here because it's also an absolute tune. Back to the Hell song though. In what sounds like I'm repeating myself, we have such a great riff to kick off the song, something you're now learning that this band do so well. This riff floats in and out of the song at various points to help sections of the song flow in and out of each other. The Hell song has such a great build from the verses to the chorus, a tasteful guitar solo, and catchy lyrics to keep the song going around again and again in your head. The Hell song is about a friend of the band who contracted HIV, with it being a very personal song in particular for Derek. The song has the narrative of the realisation of how quickly things can change, and to quote the song, how fast life can be compromised. The song was written in half an hour after Derek finding out about their friend's diagnosis, with it just flowing out without meaning to write anything. A key song which is also now 20 years old, the fact that it still gets played and sung along to so loudly during some 41 shows is a testament to how big it was for the band, with them receiving MTV Music Award nominations for it. Track 4, Pieces. I tried to be perfect, but nothing was worth it. I don't believe it makes me real. I thought it'd be easy, but no one believes me. The second single from the band's third album, Chuck, in 2004, Pieces shows another side to the usual energetic and up-tempo music expected from Sum 41 allowing them to now show off their diversity and vulnerability instead. A slower song with a melancholic vocal performance and a more chord-driven song instead of riffs, Pieces tells a story of pensiveness and being introspective with strong themes of negativity. The narrator mentions about trying to be perfect and being something you are not, but not believing this is actually worth doing. Links to depression with lines such as, this place is so empty, my thoughts are so tempting, I don't know how it got so bad, can be extremely relatable more than some people may realise allowing this song to have the ability of creating such a connection with listeners, myself on a personal level included. However, despite all of this, it is able to act as something that people can feel they aren't alone in, providing support in this way, and with music being something of a great comfort to so many people. By exploring these themes, it causes positivity and a conversation on this as a topic. Often also play with Derek having a piano accompaniment, there are multiple versions of this song that show off how beautifully written it is and why it's so important in the band's discography. It's hard to believe me, it never gets easy well, I guess I knew that all along If you believe it's in my soul I'd say all the words that I know Track 5, Fake My Own Death feature song on sixth album 13 voices fake my own death showed that after a long history personal battles and even lineup changes that saw guitarist dave Baksh come and go some 41 were able to reunite come together stronger and deliver incredible music released as a standalone single to get new music out there after five years of no new tunes fake my own death proved that some 41 are still big players in this scene more amazing riffage high intensity and energy fast-paced instrumentals pushed by solid drum beats, aggression in the vocals, and catchy hooks in the chorus. Fake Mind Death feels like Sum 41 are firing on all cylinders at 100% of their potential through the 194 seconds the song lasts for. This will have you singing along during chorus repetitions with the vocal melody line pulling you in every time. Derek has said of the song being about leaving the past behind and moving on. Lyrics in the chorus of Help me escape because I want to be left to be free show that desire for a new journey. A fun music video full of memes, the band continues to be fun and poke fun at celebrities and pop culture. It's a great watch. Fake My Own Death appeared to be a re-establishment of Sum 41 stamping their feet in the ground, being 20 years into the band at time of release, and proving they aren't to be forgotten about and fade into relevance, even to this day, being proven by headlining festivals and drawing large crowds. Sum 41 are still killing it. 
So that was the beginner's guide for Sum 41. If you're a fan of their music already, what songs would you suggest that weren't in this list that would help people get into their music? Who would you like to see a beginner's guide on to introduce you to a band and their music next? Comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest releases and heavy music that we review on our monthly podcast, gig vlogs, and various other content surrounding the genres of metal and alternative music.